Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's come to the end of the month again, which means favourites. I haven't done favourites video in quite some time, but I think we should jump straight into February favourites. Let's go. Let's start off with makeup-y bits. I've got a set of brushes that I received at Christmas and I just haven't stopped using them since. And they are this Bold Metals collection which are just so aesthetically pleasing. Maybe not so much right now because I haven't washed them in a couple of weeks. The set that I received Christmas, I think that was limited edition and it comes with a eyeshadow brush. This angled blush powder brush which I use for bronzer. If you saw my previous makeup tutorial I was using this for bronzer, it's really good for getting into the hollows of your cheekbones and working your way around the face. And also, this tapered contour blush brush. They're great multi-purpose brushes. This one is 300, which is rose gold. Kind of like this one the most, mainly because of the coppery rose gold packaging. Then this one is 103 and this silver one is 200. Another favourite of mine which I actually bought back at the beginning of February is the L'Oreal Paris True Match Foundation. This is so blendable, really easy to blend. My shade is Golden Ivory which is similar to the Bourjois Health Mix Serum in shade 51 Vanille Claire. You only need one pump per application and it covers your whole face. The light is now slowly coming round, so I apologise if the lighting changes throughout this video. I've also been loving for my bronzer at the Hula by Benefit, which is a perfect shade for me. It's a warm brown, but it's not too warm that it's orange. For highlighter, I thought I couldn't have a favourite bronzer without it having a favourite highlighter, and I've chosen the Makeup Revolution Baked Highlighter. This beautiful. I kind of neglected this highlighter for quite some time and then this month in particular I've just been reaching for it and it's been going with me in my makeup bag. I've actually brought it home from uni which shows that I actually really like it. It's a lovely champagne -y shade but it's got a hint of peach in. It's a lovely shimmer it's not really glittery, it just adds a lovely sheen. This month I've also really been enjoying nude lips and my friend Emma, hi Emma if you're watching, she actually gave me one of her little Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks which she got in a Christmas set which is so cute, look at it, look how cute it is. She gave me this because she had two of the same shade so I was lucky enough to get this shade which I've been really liking and it is in the shade Bitch Perfect. How amazing is that name? It is very nude, it's a nudey brown but also pink. It's not too brown but not too pink, it's like the right in between shade. Yeah I just love this so much, I've been wearing this a few times over February. I love the Charlotte Tilbury packaging, I think it is so beautiful with the rose gold. I'm just a sucker for anything rose gold. And thank you, Emma, for gifting it to me. This is slightly more random, this favourite. It's actually a shampoo and conditioner. It is the L'Oreal Paris LV Extraordinary Oil Nourishing Shampoo and Conditioner, enriched with six micro flower oils which just makes your hair feel so soft and moisturised and it smells amazing. It says it's for very dry, dull and rebellious hair. I could say my hair is also rebellious because it's prone to frizz and going all over the place. I've also got a favourite candle which has been the next New York candle. I can't actually show you here because it's at uni but I will insert an image on the screen here. I've been loving this candle, I just find lighting a candle so relaxing at uni so when I'm doing my work on my desk I will have the candle burning away next to me and it just makes my room smell great. I've also got a few song favourites because there's been a few new releases in January and February one being the Rihanna Anti album. One of my favourites has been Consideration, which goes like this. 
I also really like Kiss It Better. I also really like the song Higher, which goes a little... And also, Love on the Brain. But yeah, I've been loving those ones. I just think that she sounds great on them and it's kind of a new style for Rihanna. Also, can't end this video without mentioning Beyonce Formation. Yes, she is back, people. She is back. I rest assured that she will, if she hasn't released an album by the time this video is up, I'd be very surprised. So, and I'm actually going to see her in concert in July. I've got tickets, so excited. I love the message that she's sending out with this video, the whole black rights, and it's very empowering for black women, I believe. That concludes my February favourites. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know what your favourites were. Subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye!